So here's the buzz, Sailor Moon fans. The Sailor Scouts are stuck in this creepy cave with these evil dweezels from the Negaverse and some talking cats. Sailor Moon's gonna glowy because it turns out, oh my god, she's the moon princess, like who knew? I know I didn't. Also, Tuxedo Mask is dead. Farewell, sexy man. Your useless inspirational speeches will remain with me always. Actually, never mind. He's totally alive. Just unconscious. Maybe. Anyway, welcome back to Secret Identities! After several, uh, months, I'm here to finally present you with the second half of the Secret Identities tape. This one entitled, A Reluctant Princess. If you'll remember from last time, we learned that... Sailor Moon is the Moon Princess. Darian is Tuxedo Mask. Zoisite's only weakness is having roses thrown at her. And of course, that if you're from the moon, you can cry crystals. What more could we possibly discover from this next episode? Just wait. The exposition hasn't even started yet. So despite the fact that Sailor Moon has already given us the hot buzz about what happened in the last episode, the cats decide that we need to hear it again. You're the moon princess from so long ago. Right in front of me and I didn't even know. Yeah, who'd have thought that Serena of all people would turn out to be the moon princess? It's a total blowaway! Well, they were alone in that elevator for quite some time. And what about Darren? I still can't believe it! He's Tuxedo Mask! Oh, Mars, I'm sorry! You must feel terrible! Hmm, but I guess they were meant to be long before Darren and I... That was pretty quick, Mars. You're not even gonna fight for him or anything? I mean, seriously, he is your boyfriend at this point in the show. Not even gonna pull a move, bitch, get out the way, just, oh, well, they are destined for each other. Anyway, Zoisite wisely decides that she's had enough of this shit and tries to take out Serena, who, rather unfortunately for her, has the pink sparkly power of plot convenience on her side. It doesn't end well. Serena feels that Tuxie's growing weaker and tearfully begs him not to die, to which he responds, You're, you're finally free, Serena. <gasps> you're free and now I remember everything. Well, that's convenient. Also, what is she free from? I mean, the Negaverse is still after her. It's not like a poofy white dress is really gonna save her. It's all so clear. I am Prince Darian. Wait, what? I thought you were Tuxedo Mask. I am remembering now too. I am Princess Serena of the Moon Kingdom. Didn't we already have this revelation? So we dive into a flashback, in which Serena reveals that she and Prince Darian of Earth were to be married, despite the fact that they lived on completely different planets, and it would, logistically speaking, be really difficult to bring the relatives to one location for the wedding. She gives him her star locket to remember her by, and then shit goes down, and he ditches her to go defend her kingdom or something. This makes very little sense, since isn't Darian from Earth, and therefore not technically a part of her kingdom anyway? So he flies away, because he can do that. Oh, Darian! Come back to me! You sound so enthusiastic. And of course, that was the last time she ever saw him. Darian! Sarah! Yes? So the flashback ends and she glows some more. We are free. Free from what? And she turns back into Sailor Moon again. The Sailor Scouts, sensing they might be useful to the plot again, rush to her aid as she faints from the effort of all that glowing. Check her pulse. Is she gonna be all right? Uh, I think so. Just a little fainting spell. How princess-like. All those memories flooding back must have overloaded her royal circuits. Yes, because all royal political leaders faint under the stress of a flashback. And Zoisite's back. Once again deciding she's had enough of this plotline, she begs her Japanese gay lover to get the crystal back. Instead, he kidnaps Tuxedo Mask and does absolutely nothing to the clearly vulnerable Sailor Moon, because, you know, that makes sense. And away they go. Darian, he's gone! What are they gonna do with him? Threesome? So Queen Beryl yells at them for not getting the crystal from Sailor Moon, and then decides to take her PMS out on Zoisite. No! Doesn't he seem distraught? Queen Beryl decides that with an unconscious sexy man in her possession, that the best thing to do is wipe his memory and try to make him evil. Meanwhile, Zoisite, who was apparently not dead, just nearly dead, tells Malachite to take down the Sailor Scouts like he should have done earlier, and then proceeds to die in his arms. Meanwhile, the Sailor Scouts are lost. It's like we're in another dimension, like a 
warp thing. Yes, it's some kind of strange combination of time warp and negative space. And so now I have to try to convert the radical readings I'm getting in here into the same format as the original ones that got us in here. Sailor Moon meets Doctor Who! It could happen. So Sailor Moon wakes up and has a bit of a conniption. To be a tuxedo mask, where is he? I've just remembered that I'm in love with him! Naturally, the cats decide this is an excellent time for a flashback. If we're gonna help Darian, you have to understand your past. Well, that's convenient. Please, tell us more. A long time ago, we all lived happily in a beautiful place called the Moon Kingdom. Couldn't they think of a more original name than Moon Kingdom? It's like, look, this is my kingdom on the moon! The Moon Kingdom! So it turns out Serena was, in fact, the princess of the Moon Kingdom, and lived there in harmony with her eerily identical mother and a bunch of flowers. But then, of course, shit went down, and Queen Serenity became a bit of an off-screen badass. Well, Queen Serenity defeated Beryl's strongest warriors, then locked them inside her Imperial Silver Crystal and sent them to Earth. I mean, seriously, she took out all their bravest warriors single-handedly? I mean, damn. And did you hear that Pokemon's evil laugh? <laughs> That is some serious evil. The Moon Kingdom was forever destroyed. Her power broken, Queen Serenity used the last of her strength to send Princess Serenity and her court to a new future on Earth. Wait, 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 wait. Is she Princess Serenity or Princess Serena? So Queen Serenity sent them all to be reincarnated as Japanese schoolgirls in the early 90s, but gave them the ability to become miniskirt-wearing soldiers of justice if the mood so struck them. Sailor Moon isn't particularly happy to hear this, and decides to have a bit of an existential crisis. And you're the princess! I don't care. Somebody else can do it. Come on, Sailor Moon! It's your destiny! You're the one! She is the one! Sailor Moon! 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 My name's Serena! Not Sailor Moon! Moon Princess! Not Moon anything! Not even a moon pie? But Sailor Mar snaps her out of it by pointedly not slapping her, and they all decide to help cheer her up. I can yeah, you totally toasted that crud zoisite. Yeah, man, it was like totally wicked, yo. But hey, Sailor Mercury figures it out. Leave me. Good work. Won't you say we go get some burgers and get our minds off all this? Yes, burgers! Excellent! Whenever I'm in a hellish nightmare dimension, I always think, gee, I could use some burger. But then, oh no! It's the plot again! Venus and Jupiter decide to somehow combine their powers and attack him together, but it turns out that, somehow, Malachite can absorb their powers and throw them back at them. So naturally, their solution is to just keep throwing things at him, which, of course, does not work out well. No, Sailor Oh. And here we come to... The moment. That's right, folks. The moment you've all been waiting for. The worst lie ever to be spoken by an English-language voice actor in all of recorded history. Are you ready? Step aside, Mercury! It's not you I'm after! Go bleach your roots, Quake! And there you have it, folks! You heard that correctly. Yes, when faced with an evil human abomination of darkness, Sailor Mercury, in her infinite wisdom, said, Go bleach your roots, Creep. Don't believe me? Listen to it again. Step aside, Mercury! It's not you I'm after! Go bleach your roots, Creep! Yep, that was it. And ironically, I've actually found this to be very successful when faced with humanoid abominations of darkness. I have love, love, your powerful demon of darkness! Cow before. I'll go bleach your roots, Creep. Um, okay? Victory is mine. Anyway, Sailor Mercury gets shanked, and Sailor Moon decides it's finally time for her to actually do something. I mean, it's not like she's written to be the most powerful of all five of the girls and could have wiped this guy away with one wave of her wand. She clearly had to wait till all of her friends were dead before she did anything. Help me be free again! Tuxedo mask, you came! Oh yes, he did. So Sailor Moon gets her game on and uses an attack that she never uses again to make everything all pink and sparkly and presumably bring everyone back to life. Or something. They never really make that clear. 
Whoa! Where did that come from? You got me. Malachite's a bit pissed by all this and worries that Queen Beryl's going to destroy him like she did Zoisite. Luckily for him, Beryl's too distracted by the sexy unconscious man in a well-fitting tuxedo to really care. Tell me very soon you'll be a warrior for the Negaverse! Oh yes, he will. So somehow they all get back alive. I don't know where you are, Tuxedo Mask, but wherever it is, I'm with you. Oh, Moon Jesus, please don't let my boyfriend turn into a brainwashed psychopath who tries to kill me. It would really put a damper on my summer. So the episode ends with the scouts looking out onto the horizon with hope glittering in their eyes and ruins around them that nobody bothers to mention. Oh, but wait! The episode's not over yet. It sounds great being a princess, but it's not just about waving around a wand and wearing cool clothes. Oh, it so is. It means new responsibilities, just like growing up. Yes, because when I was 18, I was immediately presented with my own kingdom for which I would someday rule. Sure, you get more freedom and control of your life, but that means new responsibilities too. Like updating your YouTube channel. Try taking out the trash for your mom before she has to nag at you. And how about cleaning up your room? And doing your homework without being told? Quickly, Sarah! We must rescue our friend from Zoltan, the evil demon of darkness! But first, we must take out the trash. Growing up is full of fun new adventures and new responsibilities. Sailor Moon says, see ya! <coughs> and so there you have it, everyone. That was the Sailor Moon two-part VHS epic, Secret Identities. Uh, to everyone who commented on the first half of this, my last video, I just want to say thank you. I wasn't expecting anyone to ever see it, which is why it took so long in between um, to make a new one. And the fact that some of you actually commented and actually a lot of you reached out and private messaged me and asked me to make a new one actually meant a lot to me. Um, and I was really surprised by the sheer amount of views that I got. So thank you for watching and uh, thank you for commenting. And uh, as with the last one, I hope you enjoyed this look into what I assume was your past, and uh, until the next one, uh, I don't know, Sailor Moon says. <laughs>